hi all welcome back to the channel so today in this video I'll be uh, explaining about how we can run our playwright scripts in interactive mode so what do you mean by interactive mode is uh, here I want to run my script like line by line uh, from the Python cell so let me close this Python cell once again so if I search here like Python dot just Python search in your uh, from your start button menu so you will get uh, this option python 3.9 whatever version you have and if you click on it it opens one cell right so here you can uh, do interactive um, coding so like one plus two i can write uh, three i can print one statement uh, something like hello world so this thing we can do here like it's very good for learning purpose if you are learning python then you should try this and it would help you to learn like uh, like line by line you can just execute it here and it would give you print statement so if you need to import something you can import it as well like input way something like that and then you can use ways dot whatever uh, get print let's say print uh, ways uh, dot get cwd and it it prints the path right so you can clear clean, clear exit as well so exit no it's not working so control z yeah so control z for closing your python cell okay so uh, so let me tell you like how we can do how, i mean how we can uh, execute our code uh, line by line so here what i am trying to do i want to execute this script so this is my pytest script right so which we have written quite earlier which was for uh, navigation example so it was for navigation so like uh, we have to go forward go back that kind of thing we have to do so for that I have already created one video uh, you can watch this is the video uh, from my playlist so I will give this link in the I icon so if you click on the I icon you can see it so let's see if we can execute the same script line by line from here because it's, it would be helpful for debugging purpose like if you can see for each line what is happening and after that you can want to execute the next line so you, you would say like okay I can do the same thing from using debugging as well right so if I put a debugger here and I can do the same thing that's great but in case you need it uh, you want to do it from here that also uh, that is the, you should know the approach as well and actually these questions was asked uh, by one of my viewers or subscribers uh, in my playlist play Python play uh, playwright play uh, playwright uh, playlist so in that uh, I think so I, I thought like let let me create one video on it and uh, so okay so let's do it so I already created one note for that what we have to do here so basically the same thing what I have given here uh, we are doing it uh, see let me explain you so first we are uh, like importing this sync playwright and from playwright.sync api and after that we are starting it so sync playwright.start would give you an object for playwright and using this object you can uh, we can uh, next work on it so this line you know understand already like it we are you are we are actually opening our browser in non headless mode and we are giving a slow motion of 1000 milliseconds after that we are creating page and uh, we are also navigating to this google.com then we are printing the page.url whatever page.url would be that, that would be printed and then we want to click on this gmail link and after that we want to go back to the previous page and then we are closing the browser and stopping this playwright so let's do it one by one so you would be seeing uh, the, uh, the actions in interactive mode right so uh, here it is so yep so first time is executed second line is also executed let's see what happens so as you can see something happened uh, but it didn't open anything uh, so let's execute the next line so here it is it is opening the browser right so 
the browser is opened but uh, no URL is given because we have not actually navigated to this any website so let's navigate to this google.com hit enter and let's see what happens here yeah it navigated to uh, google.com now let's see uh, where is that here so next let's print uh, the page.url so So as you can see it's printing uh, www.google.com and also here once we enter this line page dot go to and here it is it is returning a response as well so we know like whether it works or not because if you are opening in non headless mode i mean uh, headless mode in that case uh, you will not see any ui right so that also you can try from your end uh, like what is happening when you are doing in non headless mode in that case it will only give you this uh, response so that you know right uh, it's it's navigating to this website okay now next what is that so next we are clicking on the gmail link so let's click on it you can see like it clicked and it navigates to uh, gmail page okay next what we want to do we want to go back so page dot go back i hope i'm writing correct go back so it's it's actually came back here so you can do anything you can you can try uh, like let's see what is given here now um, it's here and like uh, page dot url go back and then we are also printing the url and nothing is there so we can just close the browser now so uh, let's uh, close it now so we have reached to the google page and here you can see here this um, browser will get closed now yep so browser get closed and next we have to uh, close the playwright dot stop yep so this is how we can uh, run our playwright scripts uh, in interactive mode so it's useful for debugging purpose you can try it and uh, let me know if you like it so please subscribe to the channel if you're watching the videos and uh, and also share with your friends and like the videos as well so yep thank you for watching once again and bye